So, Delco, should I, should I show them how to take the tape off of these comics? Huh? Should I show them how to take the tape off the comics or what? Okay, well, are you going to be quiet so I can do that? Why not? Well, do you want me to lock you in the back room so I can make the video? Okay. <laughs> Having fun with my cat. <laughs> Uh, here I have some tape. I'm going to zoom in so you can see this. Yeah, there's a, some old tape on here and it goes all the way to the other side. Now the comic needs to be cleaned too, but the tape I need to take off first. So what I'm going to do is I've already got my little iron warmed up. So... First thing I'm going to do is take an old backing board, and I have tons of these, and put it under there. And unfortunately there's tape on the inside too, and that's going to be a little harder to get off, but uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to work on the outside first. And I'm just going to go over it with my little iron, get it nice and hot. And this is uh, this is nothing more than parchment sheet that you get at uh, at any store that sells cooking supplies. And then we will see about getting that to come off. You heat it up, and the glue uh, becomes very malleable and easier to get off. And uh, it's just an exacto knife. You can pick them up just about anywhere. You got to be real careful when you do it, though. You don't want to uh, you don't want to cut into the book. And when it starts to cool off, just put your parchment paper back on it again. Now I'm going to actually peel some of this away. cut it. Hmm, I should have gotten a sharp knife. should get my tweezers for this but I don't feel like going in the other room and getting them and that's all there is to it you just go slow and you'll get all of that tape off of there without hurting the ink.
Now what I'm going to have to do after I finish this is I'm going to actually have to repair this and reattach the cover. Now we get it off the back side. Same procedure. Look how dirty that is. And in this case, the tape actually bubbled up when I applied the heat. Uh, Delco, what's your problem tonight, huh? Sometimes you just can't avoid taking a little bit of the comic with the tape. Usually that's because you didn't get, the heat isn't covered far enough over. Now there is still sticky on there. So you don't want to put it next to another comic because there's still uh, glue on the uh, comic itself. I'm going to have to actually take that off. Because, like I said, there's tape on the inside of the comic. And it's preventing me from getting in there like I should be able to. There we go.
patience that's what you need with this as, as with any work on working on any comic book for any reason you need patience and once again as I always do I'm going to warn you do not try this if you were afraid of ruining your book if you were afraid that you might ruin your comic do not try to do any of the repairs or the cleanings that I show you how to do because sooner or later it's gonna happen sooner or later you are gonna ruin a book sooner or later you're going to damage the book beyond your ability to repair it and if you're not prepared to do that you're not prepared to work on your comics okay that tape is off uh, it looks like it's still there but that's just the glue uh, the tape itself is completely off of there we'll take that one off next but now here's the thing I understand not everybody has one of these I mean I understand that not everybody has one of these so I have an alternative way to do that and I'm going to show you that next now I'm sure you're all wondering what kind of an alternative method do I have for taking tape off well actually it's the same method you just use a little bit different tools no steam just heat now, other than that it's exactly the same thing you warm it up with an iron and you gently remove the tape now this actually has the tape folded over to the inside so I'll be cutting it off at the edge there you go just that easy and actually it came off a little easier using the big iron because I think I had it on a higher heat than I had the smaller smaller one on but uh, there you go that tape is off of there for the on the outside anyway And we'll flip it over and take this part of it off using exactly the same method. I think I have the heat up a little too high. Actually, not didn't heat it up enough.
that's it. Now, of course, the comic is going to stick to the other side because there's still glue on it. I'm going to get that off and I will um, come back to you. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, I already took this piece of tape off. I didn't take it off the cover yet. I took it off of here. Uh, so I'm going to take this one off. I'll go ahead and take this one off next. And I'm probably going to switch back to my small iron in a few minutes. Um, same procedure. I used for the cover. Just gently lift it. You don't want to. Uh, you don't want to get any of the ink off. You don't want to separate any of the page. Don't worry about the. Peel that back, get it to the comic, and then I'm going to cut it off. Now, the glue is on there still. Uh, I'm going to use methyl cellulose. Uh, you can use whatever you want. I imagine talc would work also. Uh, probably flour would work. It's just something to, to keep it from sticking. Uh, I'm going to come back later on and get the glue off. I'll show you how to do that. later on but yeah that takes the sticky off it doesn't really take the sticky off what I'm doing is I'm, I'm applying a small powder coat onto the sticky and obviously I'm going to have to put the cover back on at some point but I'm going to go to the back now and do the same thing. I'm going to remove it from the paper first and then I'll worry about the cover. I'm going to have to go ahead and cut that off there because it's I don't think I can get it to the edge well maybe maybe I can yeah I did oh good and then I'll just cut it off see if I got it hot enough to do both of them no, nope, this one's cooled off too much.
And now because I have to reattach the cover anyway, I'm going to go ahead and remove the uh, remove this bottom staple. Actually, I'll just go ahead and remove both staples. That way I won't wonder where the other staple is and it's still in the comic. Because that's the kind of thing I would do. Got my little sculpting tool here. This is my favorite thing for removing staples. I've got a lot of other methods I use and some of them are plastic but this is actually my favorite because it's got that little scoop and I can just slide right under the staple and lift it off. Get my little staple holder there. That's the only thing I use the uh, Mr. Clean sponge for, is to hold my staples. All right, so we got that done, and I'll see about getting that off in a little bit. Now we have to remove the tape from up here, and this this should be pretty easy. Uh, again, I'm just going to go ahead and use the big iron, simply because I have it. It's actually easier to take the tape off of the uh, newsprint than it is off the cover. You'd think it'd be the other way around.
Got a little bit of tape still on there. We'll get that off in a little while. Now, do that and then that part of it is pretty much done. And you could use a hair dryer to do this too. With the hair dryer, you don't necessarily need the uh, need the sheet. I prefer to use the iron, but uh, like I said, a hair dryer would work too. And with a hair dryer, you don't need the uh, parchment paper. So we can peel that off of there. Took a little tiny bit of the uh, paper off on that. Not enough to really notice, but still. I think my knife isn't sharp enough. One more piece. It's always best when you're doing this. To try to work from the straight edge because most people when they take a piece of tape it's got that serrated end to it and that makes it harder to get the tape off if you can go from one of the edges probably do a little better This one is just being obstinate and does not want to cooperate. There we go. That's better. Just didn't have it hot enough, I guess. Yep, that was it. I didn't have it hot enough. All right.
See, I'm just scraping the uh, the glue with the methyl cellulose off now. So I think you could probably use talc for that. Got to be super careful with this so that you don't scrape off any of it. As a matter of fact, let me try this eraser. Nah, that didn't work. Um, I'm out of lighter fluid right now, and that's the best thing to take that gummy stuff off. Uh, so I'll pick some up when I'm out and about tomorrow, which will be yesterday for you. And there we go with the time travel stuff again. I've still got a piece of tape on here. Yeah, I think that's got it. So, uh, yeah. Take the tape off. All you really need is this. But you can use a uh, you can use one of these. You can use a blow dryer. Uh, whatever you need to use to get it off. I probably should have taken the inside off first and then the outside, but it is what it is. So uh, I'll finish this video uh, after I go get some uh, lighter fluid to take that uh, residue off. Okay, I didn't have a chance to go get what I wanted to get. And um, what I was going to get was some lighter fluid, but they were out of it and I didn't feel like going someplace else. So uh, what you can do to get some of this gum off is after you put your uh, powder on it, you just take... This is dull. It, it's a sculpting tool is what it is, but you can use the, the back side of a knife and just kind of go over the gum area and take it off that way. You just have to be real careful and then go real slow. And this is a long process to do to get it that way, so I'm not going to show you the whole thing today. Uh, or not on the screen anyway, because there is it something else I want to show you before I end this video. But, uh, yeah, it'll pick up some of that gum that's left on there, and you just wipe it off on something. And uh, basically it's just just scraping off the gum carefully so that you're not taking off any of the paper. It's still going to be discolored. There's nothing you can do about that. But you see I'm p taking off some of that excess gum. And uh, like I said, it takes, takes some time and it's not as quick and easy as using uh, lighter fluid. But, uh, yeah, it's taking it off of there. So I'm going to continue working on that, and I'm going to clean the comic, and uh, I will show it at the very end of the video. Or maybe I'll show it mon on Monday morning's video. I'll try to get it done for tomorrow or for uh, Friday's video, though, and show that. But what I wanted to go over is a lot of times you buy an action figure. Now this is one that I've had for a while. It used to be in my store and of course I would put price stickers on them. 
Now I always put the price sticker over the barcode, which may or may not be a good thing. But you can use the same process. You take your uh, parchment sheet or, or kitchen paper and you heat it up. You don't want to get it too hot because you don't want it to separate the plastic that on the other side. And it's the same process. You just get to where you can get That's not hot enough yet. So uh, we'll heat it up a little more. Blow dryer works really well with this, but I don't know where mine is. Probably with my painting stuff. But you just... Heat it up, and that sticker will come right off. And like I said, you got to do it carefully because you don't want to peel off any of the of the ink. And some of these stickers have, like this one. It has a little piece on the inside because it's cut so that it can't peel the label off easily. But uh, yeah, just pull that label very carefully. Now see, I, I've torn the sticker, but I haven't torn the paper. So I should still be able to get all of that off. Yeah, I'm gonna have to heat that up again. It cool. It cools really quick. And you don't have to have one of those little mini ironers. You can use um, you can use a full size iron like I showed on the comic. You can use uh, one of these little tack irons. You can use uh, a blow dryer, anything. All you want to do is warm it up so that you can loosen the glue. And once you do that, you can just peel it right off of there. A little tiny bit left here. There you go. And the nice part about the stickers, usually usually when you do this with the stickers, there's no there's no glue left on unlike tape. So uh, that's uh, same process that you use to take uh, tape off of Comics can be used to take the stickers off of toys. And if you have a sticker on a comic, you can use it for that same thing. So, uh, I'll get working on this comic and clean it up a little bit and see if uh, I can't get it back together and show it to you before I close out this video and finalize it. Well, there you have it. Now you have an idea of how I remove the stickers from toys and tape from a comic. Speaking of tape from a comic, I guess I should go ahead and show you how it turned out. Now remember this, uh, this cover was held on 
by tape. I removed the tape here. I removed it from the inside and of course now it's it's held on by the staples. It's not perfect. Came out okay. I'm happy with it. That's all that matters. There you go. That's how I take tape off of comics and uh, stickers off of action figures. You use the same procedure to take a sticker off of a comic, by the way. So, uh, we'll see you uh, tonight at the auction, uh, Horizon Picks auction, uh, and uh, Monday for the Monday morning show. In the meantime, don't forget, before you handle your comics, your cards, collectibles, toys, whatever they happen to be, make sure you wash your hands. Good for your comics, good for your toys, it's good for your health. And I believe that's it. Is that all? Is that everything, the Delco? If that's everything? Okay. There you have it. That's everything. Bye. Got to put this in Mylar. I do release videos three times a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and conduct a live stream on Thursday evenings. Make sure after you watch one of my videos that you like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell notification to keep you informed of any new comment that I might release. If you'd like to, you can also support me on Patreon or even just buy me a cup of coffee. There are links to those down below.